Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I am just northeast of Manchester, or in Manchester, should I say. Um, so we've got a Golf R, Fabian's Golf R. He's going stage three. Uh, we're booked in on the 5th of May at Unicorn, so we'll be there. Uh, but anyway, today, um, he's had his turbo fitted. Um, so today we are going to be fitting uh, spark plugs, NGK 8s. Uh, we're going to be doing a Haldex service gearbox service and doing his high pressure pump and low pressure pump so i thought it made a good video as usual um so yeah so let's get on with it okay if you join me on three yeah. so we're just draining his uh hard x fluid as you can see so far it hasn't been done for a while it's uh should be gold in that color so i reckon we're gonna have a dirty pump. See so how when that finishes draining, we'll come back underneath and we'll show you exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so uh, that's his fluid drained. What I always do is I take the bolts out of the actual control module. So what we're gonna do is take this off and unclip the Haldex is here that's the pump motor and then I don't know if you can see but we've got a little clip right at the top Let's see if I can point to it oh, so this is the clip the harness yeah, it's just there what we're gonna do is lift that out like so and then there's another one just here in the corner and this will allow us to pull the pump all the way out and give it a good clean like so I'll try and do this with one hand but I don't think it's going to go well there we go so we've unplugged the pump from the Aldex module and now we can pull this lean out which will mean we can take the pump away from the car and give it a good clean oh. hard to do when you haven't got ramp isn't it Anyway, I'm going to take it out and uh, we'll show you the statement. There we go. That is a bit of a mess. It's probably one of the worst I've seen. Um, but yeah, so because we've taken this loom off, just to put you down. We can actually take the whole pump and uh, give it a good strip down and a clean. Now, one of the things I always do, which a lot of people don't do, is clean inside here as well because obviously uh, I don't know if you can see I mean that's relatively clean that but we'll just give it a wash out anyway uh, that's what a lot of people forget so obviously if you've got build up a gunk in there um, you've cleaned your gauze and that you're just going to put it right back into that gunk so always make sure you clean your housing up anyway let's get this pump cleaned okay so there we go so there is his Haldex clean um, so obviously I've taken the gauze off clean the gauze down um, also cleaned inside the pump uh, through both this hole and it's a bit difficult to do in one hand and this hole uh, new seals on it clean the outside as well uh, that is ready to go back on the car but yeah that was dirty be surprised if his uh, four-wheel drive was working at all but after this it will be okay so now we're gonna refill this Haldex uh, with G06017582 um, this is the genuine uh, Haldex fluid. It takes about seven, 700, 750 mil. And um, we've also got a gearbox service to do on this, uh, which we'll be doing in a bit. And then his high pressure pump is coming off. Uh, he's having auto tech internals. And then, not only that, we have got a wall bro to fit as well. Uh, but yeah, you can see the state of his oil 
It has not been changed for a long time. Anyway, let's get some new oil in. Um, start it up and then run pump adaptions and that'll be it. So as I said, about 700 to 750 mil. It's gonna go in. I'm gonna put the camera down now because it's hard to do with one hand. But we're just doing it until it starts to drip out. And that's where we know it's full. Okay, so what we do, we've got VCDS uh, version 22.3.1. Um, we're just gonna cycle his pump. So obviously we change this fluid. So we go to all wheel drive. Do you have any faults? There might be a mechanical fault. No, no faults. We got basic, basic setting. Uh, resetting of all adaptation values. Let's finish correctly. Then we are going to pump motor. And you should hear this going now. So what we're waiting for is it to finish correctly. What that's doing is just cycling fluid uh, around the system, around the clutch packs, the pump. And then once that's stopped and finished, as his Haldex done, uh, we're just going to check his high pressure pump as well because we've just changed that. Just uh, check the specified versus actual. But yeah, there we go. Oh. No, finish time out. Sometimes it can take a while. Sometimes it can take a couple of goes. That's just obviously pushing fluid around everywhere. And because this one was so dirty, it's probably trying to uh, open the relief valve again. but will eventually say, finish correctly. Yeah, we'll take it for a drive. Um, so the pump's all good. Still running. But we are getting a uh, good voltage and current. And that's finished now. So that is all done. Now we just need to log his high pressure pump. So we need to go to our engine. I'm just going to scan this for faults actually because uh, I've not scanned it yet. Ooh, what the hell? It's got quite a lot of faults in here. What was this? Ah, uh, this is from 28th of the 10th. So it's had work done. Yeah, that in injector issues by the look of it. Anyway, what we need to do is go to uh, pressure pump. So we got actual versus specified. As you can see, we'll bang on the money there. So we we'll give it a little rev. Now we got soft limit on, so it's not actually going to go very far at all. Um, but we've got good pressure there anyway, and this will go up to 250 bar once he's on stage three uh, But that's our high pressure pump done um, now I just need to Get his gearbox temperature uh, Up to 35 to 45 degrees because That is what we're going to be doing next So ATF transmission as you see we're on 22 degrees so yeah, I'm going to wait for that to heat up and uh, then drop his oil. So there we go. Uh, that is all done. So DSG service, high pressure fuel pump, Haldex, low pressure fuel pump. All done. So now we shall see you at Unicorn Motor Developments. Hi right, guys, so it's mapping day. So I'm just outside Unicorn now. Uh, just turned up with the red golf r uh, so this one in a cts gtx 30 turbo uh, i've not seen one of these before yet so it's going to be interesting to see what figures it makes um he's just had his 980 cc injectors installed 
Um, so obviously we did his high pump, his low pump, uh, his DSG service, Haldex service. Uh, the only thing I'm a little concerned about is he's got stock coil packs. So I did advise him to go for the RS3 ones. He's kept the stock ones. We're running uh, NGK 8 plugs on there. I think they're going to struggle, but we'll find out. Anyway, let's get to it. Not bad results. So five inch and twenty two. Not bad at all. So yeah, so good result for Fabian's Golf R. Uh, first time I've, I've seen a, a GTX um, thirty. Uh, usually they're quite lazy turbos, but uh, we did some good figures. So we finished on 508 brake horsepower, uh, or 508.5. Uh, I mean, we did see 520, but the um, the torque only made 440 foot pounds. Um, so at 508, we got uh, 450 foot pounds. So it's not always about peak brake horsepower. Um, but yeah, some of you might have noticed I'm in the Vectra. So finally, uh, I have finished mapping in this hybrid turbo. And I tell you, she's shifting now to no more overboost. Oh, it's been a long time coming uh, and I'll tell you I never want to map one of these again oh it's such a nightmare but yeah anyway um, we will start picking up um, on a few tips and tricks and whatnot in, in terms of I know we've just done the Haldex but it was sort of a brief overview of what to do but I will do some videos on what to look out for obviously Haldex can cause various issues and if you go online people will tell you change your diff change your pump blah 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 and uh, quite often uh, it's just a small thing but anyway if you are new to the channel there's lots of stuff i am gradually i mean i've got about four videos to um to edit really just haven't had time so if you are new to the channel please don't forget to like and subscribe uh there's the next video coming up is on the vxr i know there's some of you waiting on what i've been doing with it i mean i've been have been messaged me saying have I got rid of it and blah 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 no it's just very time consuming to map these and in the next video I will discuss that but anyway see you in the next one power she's quick for a front wheel drive she's quick anyway see you in the next one
Methanol. Methanol. Armed. Um, 